My name is Alec Duncan. I ride for Fugitive BMX, and this is how to flat 180. I know I'm a free coaster, but I'm teaching you how to 180, not how to fakey. We might make a how to fakey later on a cassette, but uh, I just wanted to film a how to 180. So when you want to learn flat 180s, you should probably have bunny hops and fakies. We have a bunny hop tattoo on the Fugitive BMX page. And um, to fakey, you just should probably go slowly up quarters and um, try to fakey backwards. All right, so the first thing you need to figure out is what direction you turn. I'm left foot forward, so I spin to the right. And if you're uh, right foot forward, you probably want to spin to the left. Um, so in terms, you spin away from your front foot. Um, I recommend this because it can make a lot of things complicated in the end. Like when you're, if you're turning the way your front foot is, you can get locked up when you're doing threes. I know a lot of kids who can't 360 that spin fuck footed because they uh, get locked up like that. So first when you know direction to spin, you want to start trying it out, you know, bunny hopping, turning your head like you hear everybody tell you. Just bunny hop and turn your head, and you just have to treat it like you're turning around, like you're on your feet, and you're just like turning around because that's all it is to me now. It's not about like doing this complicated spin. Wherever your head is looking, that's where it's going to make your bike go. So I just turn around, and you want to find a point behind you. So sometimes it helps if you ride down a line, find that point behind you. Um, something else that really helps is if you carve. Don't do this too much because you'll bend your frames. That's what I did. But uh, it definitely makes 1A is a whole lot easier when you're starting out. Got to do one of those for you guys. So when you're carving, you want to go down a line and turn, and then when you get back to the line, hop. Don't do it too much where you're jumping sideways to bend your frame. All right, so at this point, you know which way you're spinning. You're carving, and you're finding that point behind you that you're trying to make your spin to. There's a few common errors that you will encounter. Uh, one is not jumping. You just kind of do like a double tire hop and scoot your tires around and like it makes the fakie a lot harder. And uh, you just got to remember it's like a J hop. It's like a bunny hop too. Just like a bunny hop where you J hop and turn your head. Another thing people have a problem with is they uh, claim back tire heavy. This isn't a problem on a bunny hop, but like on a flat 180 you want to make sure you're leveling out. So you're doing the J hop leveling out while turning your head that way you're landing evenly. Another obvious problem is just not turning your head. You just gotta turn around, act like you're turning around. Because that's all it really is. Just hop, turn around. It's just a comfort thing. You're gonna have to wreck a bunch. That way you know how it feels. Okay, so now you're getting the spin around, but you're having trouble with the fakies. But I tell a lot of kids when they're having trouble with the fakies, to land with your tire already turned. Um, that way when you land, you're already turning around from your fakie. Because it's sometimes hard to land and then fake in a straight line. We start doing them down drops. There's a few errors that you can occur when doing them down drops. Number one is you, I mean, you obviously have more time falling, so it's going to be a slower spin. But second of all, is when you're spinning, you don't want to look the direction you're going, because obviously you're landing backwards. So you're spinning, you don't want to look at the bottom of the stair set like this, because you'll wreck and loop out. What you want to do is commit and spin and look back at the stairs or the gap, because if you're looking straight back, you're going to go straight back. Like I said before, wherever you're looking is where your body's going to go. We start hopping over stuff in the 180s. Um, it's a two-step process, like I said. It's a, you want to come up, and you want to J-hop, and then fall second half for the higher hop. All right, is that about it? All right, guys, thanks for checking out our Hop 180 video. You just got to go out and learn them. It's all a comfort thing. You just got to work on them. You know, it's not going to be a trick you're going to learn one day. It took me over a month to land my first 180, faking and everything. They're going to be trouble. So we're going to start doing more how-tos. So uh, tell me which ones you want to see in the comments. Uh, like and uh, subscribe to the Fugitive page. We're going to be putting a lot more content up this winter. All right, thanks.